Uh, I actually did it. Wow. Um, so when you guys are watching this video, uh, it's going to be me talking about the scarab and how freaking hard it is. And I didn't have anybody prepared. I don't have that rare that, you know, everybody's talking about with the shield set, but, uh, I actually did it. So at the end of the video, you guys will see that I, I didn't do it because I was very, very frustrated because I didn't have the right chance. But, uh, I did it last night at like 1230 at night. Uh, I geared up everybody's speed. I got them super, super fast, a little bit over 200. They only made it through the first round and then everybody died besides this guy, Lugan. And Lugan actually soloed him from like 90% to zero, uh, just doing his A1. So, uh, guys, appreciate you clicking on the video, watch the video towards the end. You guys will see that, uh, I'll go over the, the gear, uh, for these guys that I have, uh, updated. So guys, appreciate it. Enjoy the video. What's up everybody, Dirtbag Gaming here, the channel for Casual Raiders. We're going to do a guide on the Scare King of what champions we should be looking for. If you guys are a champion you should be aiming for when you get to the Doom Tower. Um, and also, really, frustration on the Doom Tower. Uh, I don't have a Santa hat, so this is the closest thing I could find to a Santa hat. Uh, so, yeah, let's get into it. It's uh, one day before Christmas Eve. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve, it's crazy. But uh, this guy right here, Metal Shaper. Metal Shaper is a auto slash free win uh, in the Scare King boss. And the reason is because this right here, plays a shield buff on all allies for two turns. The value of the shield is proportional to the champion's level, which doesn't matter as long as the shield's on the guys. Uh, it goes down to a two turn cooldown. So basically every turn this guy is going to be able to put a shield up on every on everybody on the team. So if he's the fastest on your team and everybody you know gets a shield every two turns, as long as you have a uh, turn meter, turn meter uh, decrease on the boss, you're never gonna you're never gonna lose. So even if this guy is like a level 50, you're you're, you're good. Um, I don't have my I, I probably got 50 of them, but I, I've definitely sacrificed like you know all of them. <laughs> so I'm waiting for the uh, next pull uh, special event to actually hopefully I can get them uh, again, but I, I don't know what to do. So we're going to go over some options. Some options that you might be able to do is uh, basically being able to get two guys out of shields uh, on, on your team. Uh, or if you have a way to get the turn meter down or do five crazy amounts of turns, which means somebody has a shield set on for two turns, and then somebody's able to put up another shield for three turns, which there are some people. Um, obviously, if you fused the legendary... Uh, this guy, where is he? He's in my vault, of course. It's this guy right here. So if you fused, fused up this legendary uh, and you have his uh, shield set on him, he can put up a shield for three turns. Uh, this is getting way too hot. Uh, he can put up a shield for three turns um, on your team, and if he starts with the shield set, he's able to kind of go for almost five turns of shield. This, this right here, it, it's on a four turn cooldown or get it down to a four turn cooldown. So that's what I'm saying. Like he either has to double lap the boss or you have to have two people to have shields. So what I was trying was this guy right here. This guy is a Zalata. He has a uh, place of shield on all allies equal to 20% of this uh, champion's max HP. So you can get it actually really high uh, for three turns. This is a four turn cooldown. So if you get his speed up really fast, uh, you should be able to kind of like overlap the boss and do this constantly. Uh, but if you put a shield set on him, which right now he has a shield set, you can basically get five turns of attacks um, as long as you have this guy. Now, what I'm coming across is I can't even make it through the waves uh, on hard because of my team. My team right now is I have one uh, cold heart in destroy set because you need the destroy set for this boss. So I have one cold heart in destroy set. She has no health whatsoever. Uh, it's just, it's very, very limited, uh, especially for our casual raiders. So if you guys are in the same spot as me, this is just different options that you guys should start, uh, farming up. Cause I don't, right now, I don't think I'm going to be able to do hard. Um, I'm not the whale. I'm not, you know, doing every single person up to 60 just to kind of test them out. That that's just not my cup of tea. Uh, but yeah, so you, what I'm doing right now is really just farming destroy sets. So I'm going in the dragon, I'm just running dragon, I'm leveling up my guys as I'm running the dragons, uh, and then kind of just trying to get as much destroy set as possible, because I know next month 
because yeah, I'm already kind of like, all right, this month is like, you know, testing out Doom Tower. Next month, I hopefully should have some good destroy piece set, uh, set so that way I can put them on all my cold hearts. Uh, I'm leveling up another um, armor gear. My armor gear is only level 50 right now. I have another one, level 30 or something down here. All right, so that, that's that, that's what I would do. Is if I were you guys and you're having trouble in Doom Tower, uh, scare boss like the hard mode, because uh, the normal mode you guys should be able to do uh, 120. Like that that should be, you know, your goal first is to do normal first and then work on the hard mode. Uh, hard mode I would definitely start farming destroy sets. All right, so that was one guy you should use. Uh, get him, you know, if 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 you have him, use this guy because he got a three turn shield. So as long as it speeds up, uh, he's got a shield set, good to go. Uh, and then this guy, he's a newer Void Champion. He's got a uh, put up a shield for two turns. It's on a three turn cooldown. So if you pair, uh, you know, this guy and this guy, like as long as you pair two people that have an AOE shield, you should be good to go. Um, again, the thing is, I can't get through the waves. So I have the guys. It's just I'm not making it through the wave because they don't do any damage. So if I have... Uh, him going, him going, those are my shields. I need DPS people to get through the waves. So right now I have Armager, who's only level 50, he doesn't do this. I have Coldheart, who is in Destroy Set, but she doesn't do enough to get through everybody. Um, and then I have Allure, who's level 60. Uh, she's mobile. But Allure has the A1 AoE that decreases the turn meter, which is, you know, really good for the Scare Boss. So the <laughs> Those are the people that I got, but they're not getting me through the waves. So it's I have the people, it's just I don't have the resources right now to get them all uh, full mastery, stuff like that. So I'm telling you right now, uh, if you guys are clicking on this video, uh, start working on these guys. Start working on people that are going to get you next month or two months from now, because the Doom Tower is not going anywhere. It's 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 there. You know, it's it's now permanent in the game. So this is kind of like a video to help people get started. And what champs to actually focus on. So if you guys are newer and you're getting armor, get two armor. Just save them, level them up, get them ready to go. Um, who else? Uh, free champion right here. I saw somebody run her as a lead. So you got a speed lead right here. Uh, she can decrease the turn meter by 15%. She can boost up your team. Also, she has a decreased speed on the scare boss, which is great. So you can decrease the speed on the scare boss. So if you have a high cartoon, another person. If you have a, a miscreated monster, obviously you're gonna have him up for spider, but you can test him out because he has a, uh, a shield for three turns. So it plays a shield on all allies for three turns equal 25% of the damage inflicted. Again, you just need a shield. So actually you can you can get this down to a three turns. So if you have, I mean, a lot of people, they watch my video of miscreated monster. If you don't have a uh, miscreated monster, it, it's it's, it's very hard to like aim for a miscreated monster, but if you get a miscreated monster, definitely get a shield set. I don't know why I didn't see that. So miscreated monster, I had this one fully booked right here. Tax all enemies has a 50% chance of placing a stun debuff for one turn. Place a shield buff on the wild allies for three three turns equal to 25% of the damage inflicted. All right, so we're gonna we're about to do one more run and gonna gonna test this guy out. Um, but again, we have to get through the waves. So if he is my fastest champion, which I don't think he is. He's only 100, yeah, he's 168, so I probably have to re-gear him to get him really fast to make sure he's going first. So let's try this out. If I go him, cold heart, armor gear, that's one, two, three. Uh, I need some deeps. Four. Okay, so let's get back to it. So uh, miscreated monster, obviously. Uh, Allure, she's gonna help out with the AOE or the turn meter decrease. Um, who else? If you have this guy, he kind of like can sustain himself uh, going all. He can solo all the uh, normal clan bosses, uh, the, sc the scare bosses, so he can solo it. Um, but he's he can't solo the hard mode. Uh, at least what how how I have him built right now. Who else? Um, this guy, Hope. I know Hope is another one. Sacred Order. So Hope has a AoE shield. 
plays the shield buff uh, equal 25%. So anything that has 25% of this champion's max HP on allies, you can actually make it really high because look at her HP, it's 21,000. So as long as you stack her in HP uh, and even maybe put her in a shield set, you'd be able to get a, a really good shield uh, on your guys. That is a, you know, essentially a 4 turn cooldown, but cool. So yeah, the whole point of the scare boss is if you can get there, I, I think, and, you, and your team is set up, it should be an easy fight. But the, the point is actually just getting there. So let's, let's try it on. I'll, I'll try one uh, on hard, show you guys what I'm talking about. I did the normal one. So let's go with this one. We said we were going to try uh, Miss Creative Monster. So we got him. Uh, that's HP. So we're going to go there. We have to run. He's in a destroy set. Uh, my one cold heart is in a destroy set. I, I'm uh, going to put both of them in a destroy set once I get the destroy set uh, farmed. So we got him. Then we need a lore. Or should we run. We need a shield set. No, no, he has the shield set. Alright, so. Hmm. No, we need somebody to have a shield set. That's that's the thing. So if he was the fastest on the team, then you don't need the shield set. Um, but he's not the fastest right now. So who should we bring? We'll bring her. Decrease speed. And a shield set. This guy. So is that enough deeps to get us through the whole thing? Armager, we should bring Armager. Hmm. She does so good. She could almost solo like all the waves if you just bring her. She got super high resistance. She heals the team. She stuns. Uh, she decreases speed. It's so hard. <laughs> um, All right, let's, let's see how far we can go with this. So when I get to the boss, I'll have the shield. So I won't need to do that real quick. And I'll only be able to turn me once. So that's not good. Where is she, Allure? This thing, like, they're probably going to die. <laughs> like, if I run this setup, uh, they're probably not going to make it to the claim boss or to the scare boss. Yeah, I really just need to switch my shield set around. I need to put shields somebody that I know is gonna help out. Yeah, I'll show you. Okay. So with us starting this off, look look at this team. So they have a reser that reses up two people and puts up a uh, block damage buff. They have uh, Three counterattack people. He puts up a counterattack as well. So we'll just try and start do some damage. Okay, so stun. Let's put up a stun. One stun. Two stun. So now they're gonna uh, provoke everybody. Everybody but my high resistance guy, of course. Shield's really big because uh, he's in my PvP team, so he's got a crazy shield set on. I think he's got like 88,000 uh, HP. But he does nothing for this, this boss, so I probably I obviously just sub him out for somebody else with the shield set. And we should be good. I 
Oh, so we. Okay, uh, so with Miscreant and Monster, you're not going to get a huge shield, shield like you do in Spider, but at least you're going to get the shield uh, on your guys for at least three turns. So, all right, so cool. So we got through the first wave. Let's get this wave going. Um, these guys res back up. So, and they put up a block uh, damage buff on them when they when they get res back up. This thing is so laggy. Why is it laggy? That right, controlling everybody so far. It's going good. Let's create a monster, finish him up. I think once I get the shield down, he'll hit a lot harder and then he should be able to solo the boss. But I have to get the shield down. That's the toughest part. All right, now we have to make sure all the cooldowns are up. You always have like high hopes going into uh, the battle. Like this is probably the, the farthest I've gone without having somebody die uh, that I've attempted so far. <laughs> Stunned. Damn it. I don't know if he died yet. Did he die yet? Why just why? Why just stun him? And he's back. Okay. Now we just gotta kill this guy. He's down. Now this guy has to you know go through his shield. Because I don't let's put him broke. There we go. Okay. She can't do her uh a whatever because it'll bring his his turn meter down. All right, so who's going to be the order? Um, Cold, that's the thing. Damn, I think I messed up. So Coldheart is too slow for the boss, um, for her to go before the boss. Yep, that's that, that's what I forgot. So if you're not over, I think, 200 some speed, then the crab boss is going to go first. Look, see, he's all the way up to there already. Um, so I have the shield set up. Uh, I have to do something. Like, <laughs> uh, yep. So then he goes. Is the shield still up? So I should shield still up because he's got a ridiculous shield. Reduced turn meter. Don't need the shield right now. So maybe decrease defense. No. But this thing. Do I do this now? Probably because I can't. Um, Come back around. Alright, so we'll try. Did like no damage. He's gonna reduce, reduce it a little bit more. He's gonna do some damage. Decrease turn meter. Sweet. What did he have? Did he not have a shield? Oh, that sucks. He's gotta put up a shield. Okay, we're good. We're good. Uh so I have three turns, two turns left. Can we put up a poison? Let's put up a poison. Damn, too slow. Too slow. Okay, now what? Um, gonna attack because nobody has a shield. Yeah, too slow. My guys are too slow. Well, it was it was worth a try. That was cool. We got there though. So I think I've wasted so much silver uh, these past two days <laughs> just putting up destroy sets on everybody. And yeah, I, I need more speed. Like they have the destroy set, it's just nowhere near the speed that you need.
<laughs> Look at his shield, it's still right there. <laughs> oh, this guy's a bitch. All right, so this is what I've been doing. I've been getting to here, and then I just die. Because he does too much damage. <clears throat> so I'm going to find out in like three hours if I'm able to do the rest of the normal stages, like hard stages, like if, if I can skip past the boss or does the boss stop you from continuing? Like, do I have to kill this boss to continue? Probably, right? So this is locked. So I think I have to kill him before I can continue. Like, I wonder if, I wish you could have just like skipped them <laughs> and then just kept going and then skip them and then just keep going. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm probably going to be on this for the rest of the month. Uh, so stage 50, I got stopped at all of normal. I made it all the way to the top. Uh, Armager, uh, perfect for this boss. Just having everybody just heal and then have the Armager uh, final killing blow him. But hard, I just can't get past the 50. So guys, uh, if you click on this video, hopefully you learned something from it. Hopefully you are now going to start farming dragons and getting destroy set. Um, you need a shield set on one of your guys that can place the shield. That's what I would suggest. So he can't place the shield. He basically just is there for my shield set right now. Um, and if you have obviously a miscreated monster, try that. But yeah, so guys, let me know in the comments if you guys are in the same spot as I am. Uh, yeah, so I, I might see you in a week and maybe we'll have it done. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. <sighs> If you guys are like me and, and you're not you're not frustrated i mean you knew it was gonna be hard you can't expect it for it to just be a walk in the park especially when they just released it uh i heard this girl is pretty good the pig poker or whatever her name is but yeah so guys enjoy the rest of your week have a great holiday if i haven't talked to you since but uh good luck with everything okay guys so i said i would go over the gear that you know i used for the for this run we used Sile the Drake, she's very good. I went over here a bunch of times before. She has a crap ton of resistance, which helps out with almost every boss. Uh, she's got a stun set, so it definitely helps out with the waves. She can almost solo, solo the waves by herself. Uh, we brought in this guy, Lugan. I updated him a little bit, so he's got close to 214 speed, 94% uh, crit, 228 crit damage, uh, 138 accuracy, but 76,000 HP, which is insane. Um, he's not booked out, uh, by the way. We brought in Miss Creative Monster. This was the guy who changed it all. So I, if you saw the video, I didn't really realize that he had a three-turn shield uh, for three turns, which is kind of for this boss. So I went back and I geared him way better uh, for 215 speed. I wanted him to go first. So right before the Fire Knight, or the Crab Boss, I didn't know that he actually uh, attacks all enemies, has a 50% chance of placing a shield or a stun for one turn, place the shield up on all allies for three turns, equal to 25% of the damage inflicted. So I don't get it because when he attacked the boss, the boss didn't counter. That, that's what I don't get. So like he attacked it, but he didn't place a shield. So a little, something's a little bit buggy with this. Unless he has a shield. No, he doesn't have a shield. Yeah, he doesn't have a shield. So I don't know why it, it, it didn't prop. Allura, if I can get her in here, I would because she definitely helps out with the with the waves. But we didn't use her; we used the cold heart. I put the destroy set on the cold heart, um, so she's rocking 200 speed, which is way faster than what she had. 68% uh, crit. You only need around 70% for her. Not that high crit damage. I wish this was higher, but 215% crit damage and 236 uh, accuracy. Um, and then Armager. So Armager obviously still has the destroy set. He's, uh, he got a little bit faster. He's up to 192 speed, uh, 259 accuracy, because I booked him up to 60. Uh, when you guys saw the video, he was 50, but I was like, hey, let's let's at least get one armor girl up to level 60. So then we put this banner on him, got a little bit more speed. Uh, this could obviously roll higher in speed once I get this up to 16. But that was, that was the gear. That's what I updated. And I wanted to say something about this. Okay, so... I'm gonna put destroy set on this cold heart as well, but I farmed the dragons all day yesterday, and this is what I got: the destroy set. 
Okay, so look at that. This is a six star crit damage with two rolls in crit rate. This is probably the best gear for a DPSer that you could possibly get. So gems do happen in the Dragons uh, 20. So definitely start farming. Oh, excuse me, for the uh, destroy set for the dragon, because it's definitely going to help out with Scare Boss, um, and this is when you'll get stuff like this. So, uh, guys, appreciate you clicking the video. Thanks thanks again. I'm getting a mic. I actually just ordered it uh, on Amazon, so it should be coming in January, uh, and then it'll be obviously a lot clearer vocals with all of our videos. I know the video quality picked up a little bit from our first videos, and now we're going to upgrade the sound quality. So, guys, hit the subscribe because a lot more are going to come. Let me know what you thought about the video. Thanks. Have a great day.